beginning. Long, long ago, on the banks of the holy river Ganga, was the great city of Patliputra, the capital of a powerful kingdom. It was ruled by King Sudarshana. One day, King Sudarshana was traveling through his kingdom and heard someone reciting a verse that stated that wisdom is the most important possession a person could have. It is better than all the wealth and property in the kingdom. But the voice said that it was sad that not everyone had wisdom. This worried the king a lot because he himself had sons who were very foolish. He thought it was better to have one wise son rather than forty foolish ones. After all, it was one moon that gave light at night, not millions of stars. It is said, thought the king, that wisdom, a gentle wife, obedient children, comfort and health are the best things in life. The King's Solution The king continued to think deeply. Is everything based on fate only or can we make some effort to change ourselves and what happens to us? He wondered. I think we must make efforts to achieve something we wish for. After all, even a lion cannot get its food by simply waiting in its den. It must go out and hunt for its prey. Then it is fate, whether it finds a deer or a rabbit. So fate and effort must go together, he decided. So the king called all the wise and learned men in his kingdom and asked them how they could teach his sons wisdom. Among them was Vishnu Sharma, who was considered as wise as Brihaspati, the teacher of the gods. He offered to teach the princes wisdom and policy. The king was very grateful as he gave his sons into the care of the learned sage. The hunter sets the trap. Vishnu Sharma began with a story to teach the king's sons how wise friends can find a way to overcome difficulties, even if they are not rich or powerful. Once upon a time, a shalmali tree stood on the banks of the Godavari river. Hundreds of birds roosted on that tree every night. A hunter had seen this and came there very early in the morning to catch birds. There was a crow, Wise Eye, who was very observant, who saw the hunter stealthily come there. The crow saw him scatter rice grains and seeds on the ground to tempt the birds, arrange a net and then hide in the bushes nearby. The crow decided to find out whether the birds were alert and wise or not. So he sat down till he saw a flight of pigeons overhead. King Pigeon's Caution It was the king of pigeons flying along with his entourage. He was a beautiful bird with a speckled neck. They noticed the grains of rice on the ground below. The pigeon king was a very wise bird. So when he saw that his flock wanted to eat the rice, he said, Yes, we'll have a look at that, my friends, but we must be sensible. I see no village or huts or fields here. So from where did the rice grains come to this deserted forest? He warned the others. If we are not cautious and simply given to our greed, then we will be like the man who was destroyed by his greed for the golden bangle. The flock wanted to know the story of the tiger and the golden bangle. So the pigeon king narrated what he had seen. The Tiger and the Bangle A tiger was sitting on the bank of a pool in a dense forest in the Deccan. He had bathed and was wearing a flower garland, looking very saintly. He kept calling out to passers-by, offering them a gold bangle. Most people went by without heeding him, but one greedy traveller stopped. For a moment, he was cautious. One has to take some risk, if any wealth is to be one. 
he thought but there must be some caution before i take that risk suppose he is telling a lie what are you doing here he asked the tiger you are a carnivorous animal how can i trust you i was certainly a carnivorous animal replied the tiger and i killed a lot of harmless animals when i was young so as a punishment for my wicked deeds i lost my sons and my wife thanks for watching do like share subscribe to sahil book house